from the East Coast, <laughs> speaking Ojibwe with the Micmac accent, so I don't know if it's, 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 it's an important song for the spirit, but <laughs> sometimes it says things, I don't know, but <laughs> I was thinking of her because they're both gone, her daughter and, uh, and Betty Pamp and Judy Pamp who are in Michigan, so I was smiling because they were here going, yeah, yeah, here you go with that song, I'm like, yep. <laughs> Okay, and then we share. We have a little bit of the earth water to the earth. No, my water cup disappeared, but that's okay. That mine? Okay, just get a little bit to the earth as we honor her first, our first mother, and then we drink it all. Well, we, yes, we drink it all. And for the strawberry, greater, not I didn't think I was speaking so soon. Um, Scano, uh, so greetings to all my relations. And um, I just like to thank everybody for uh, coming this, uh, over here this evening. Um, I just like to uh, tell you that. Um, it's a rare victory that uh, the uh, the perpetrator um, in the murder of my uh, cousin Tashina General uh, was found guilty of second degree murder. So that was a victory in itself. And um, he's still going through the court yet. Um, I know that her family uh, were writing an impact statement and. Um, uh, he murdered two people because she was four months pregnant when that happened and uh, his reasoning was that uh, he didn't want the kid because it would ruin his uh, career in at school and also um, uh, for lacrosse so so if he didn't want the kid like why didn't he keep his pants zipped up um, shame on him yes and shame on to any man who, who thinks that way. Um, it was very difficult sitting in the court um, through a trial. Um, this guy was a native man, or is a native man, and uh, so is she. And uh, it was really sad that uh, their family was sitting on that side and we were all sitting on this side. And um, also I just wanna say that um, that is uh, really rare um, that, that uh, they brought the perpetrator to trial like that and he was convicted. Um, so it's really rare and um, I want everybody to make some noise about all the missing and murdered women. Uh, there's, there's still our sisters who are missing out there. <laughs> And as for uh, Stephen Harper, uh, the rest of the politicians, and the uh, and the hyenas, the police over there, my message to them is: uh, do your damn jobs. Do your friggin' jobs and bring those perpetrators to to uh, trial. And um, we'll keep coming back and um, being in your faces as long as this is going on. I guarantee if that were uh, rich white women, they would be tripping over each other and uh, to bring the perpetrators to trial. But because they're Ongo Hongo women, they don't give a shit. Yes. Yeah. 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 But we give a shit. That's why we're here. Woo! 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 And um, it's all connected to uh, to the residential schools, the perpetrators there. Dangerous it is. 
and I don't know how many times I had to defend myself against attempted rapes. And um, I don't know how many men I had to beat up. <laughs> but I called uh, to watch our sisters uh, dying on the streets and dying elsewhere across this uh, land here. This, this land that they call Canada. And um, it's not even really a country. Uh, because it never passed last reading in Parliament in 1867, but they call it uh, uh, a country. Uh, which reminds me, uh, a fellow, uh, uh, he said, he said, I'm Canadian, and I said, I said, well, what's your language? And he said, well, English. I said, well, that's from England. <laughs> so, so get your facts straight. And um, I believe it in... Um, fighting for, against all oppressions, um, for all oppressed people, um, regardless of your race or, or religion and that, and uh, I believe that we must all stand together and, and fight all the uh, isms that are happening here and all the oppressions. And um, I was very pleased about the, uh, about uh, Mubarak being kicked out. <laughs> I cheered when that happened. <laughs> we must do that to Stephen Harper now. <laughs> and um, and I don't think that Stephen Harper knows how strong Oklahoma women really are. <laughs> and um, that's really about all I have to say. And y'all want to get the guests that also used to now get to. I thank you for listening to what I had to say. <laughs> She's going to share with us. Angel. Angela. <laughs> okay. Angel. And she's going to share with us a bunch of things, right? You can do it. Let's encourage her, please. <laughs> oh, but one of them was close to my heart. One of them I knew from the start. One of them, she was my mother. I thought I knew her like no other. I did not know what she kept from me, and those secrets were what tore apart my family. Life isn't normal anyways, but I'm safe now and have loved ones to spend the holidays. But I know time has been taken from our frame, because the devil's like whiskey and cocaine led you to a man who was worse. He took you from me, and I walk alone pretending I'm sane. And I'm a daughter of a mother, and I do not think I should be asking myself why. Why no one wanted to protect these women and let them die. I used to blame myself all the time for all her wrongs and all her crimes. I'll never forget and I'll always try, for now I hardly ever cry. I wish you were still here with me inside of being in hell as evidence. I have smile and I don't hide each day anymore. And keep inside I know a safe and deep inside I know there's a safer place you lay. There was no time to say goodbye, no chance to see eye to eye. For a last time, but on I will go. There's no other way the frustrated fears and lonely days will be at fright. Strong, I will say, at least for tonight, there's a safer place you lay. That's a poem I wrote for my mother when I first found out about her death um, by Robert Picton. Um, Brenda Ann Wolfe was my mother. Uh, she was an Admiral Ridge woman who was killed by Robert Picton. He got away with this because many women were of high-risk groups and uh, were part of the marginalized communities. They were already forgotten. They did not exist in society's eyes. These women were mothers, sisters, aunts, and they had all came from a family. We cannot forget and we cannot let this happen again. We need more funding for more programs to empower our women. It is our women that raise our children and our children that are really our future. I ask that we celebrate today my mom's life and remember all of these women not as victims, but as survivors. Yeah. <laughs> and hookers or drug addicted we cannot judge them for us we need to remember them as survivors we need um, let's not allow the exploited let be further exploited let's stand up on their behalf and say no to our women for not being for sale thank you
Glory 